you might have seen different types of identities being used in trigonometry. And then you must have wondered where have these identities come from. So we'll try to understand all these identities, those are extensively used in trigonometry. But before understanding those identities, we should understand what does an identity mean. So the definition of identity says that an equation is an identity if it is true for all the values of all the variables involved. Let's understand the meaning of it. So if you consider an equation x equals to 6, now can you tell me is this equation true for all the values of x? This is true for x equals to 6 and if suppose I take the value of x to be 0. So will it be true? Is 0 equals to 6? No. So this equation is an equation only. It is not an identity because it is not true for all the values of x. Consider one more equation which you have used in your previous classes. It is a plus b whole square equals to a square plus b square plus 2ab. Now try putting different values on left hand side and right hand side. You will find out that no matter what values you are putting in the equation, this equation is true for every value. It means irrespective of the values of a and b, this equation is true for all the values. So we'll say that this equation is an identity. So in trigonometry, we'll use, we'll learn about three different types of identities. Those are sine square theta plus cos square theta equals to 1. Then next is 1 plus tan square theta equals to 6 square theta. And last one is 1 plus cot square theta equals to cos x square theta. All these three identities are nothing but different form of Pythagoras theorem. So let's understand how do we get these identities by using Pythagoras theorem. Now to understand these identities, we need to apply Pythagoras theorem. So we need to have a right angle triangle first. So consider this right angle triangle ABC and in this right angle triangle, our AC is hypotenuse since it is perpendicular it is opposite to the perpendicular which is B. So AC is our hypotenuse and we can apply Pythagoras theorem in this right angle triangle. So we can write that. What does Pythagoras theorem says? It says that hypotenuse square is equals to square of sum of their sides. So it is equals to AC square equals to AB square plus bc square. Let's say this equation to be equation 0. So this we can say by using Pythagoras theorem and now if you consider angle A, we are considering angle A. So can you tell me according to angle A which side is adjacent and which side is opposite? AB is near to angle A so AB will be our adjacent or base and BC will be our opposite or perpendicular. So let's use this equation AC square equals to AB square plus BC square to derive all these three identities. Let's derive sin square theta plus cos square theta equals to 1 first. So taking this equation 0, I am dividing this whole equation by AC square. So let's do it. It will be AB square upon AC square plus BC square upon AC square equals to AC square upon AC square. I have divided this equation 0 by AC square. Now this will get cancelled and will get 1 and I am writing this in the form of AB upon AC whole square and this in the form of BC upon AC whole square. 
so I can write it in this way AB upon AC whole square plus BC upon AC whole square equals to 1. Now if you look at this term AB upon AC, AB upon AC and think about Soka Toa. So can you relate this AB upon AC by Soka Toa? It is written adjacent upon hypotenuse. So by using Soka Toa we can say that this term AB upon AC is nothing but cos of angle A. So we can write down this to be cos of a whole square plus similarly if you look at this term BC upon AC and look of Soka Toa this is opposite upon hypotenuse and that is nothing but sine of angle A. So we can write in place of this term as sine of A whole square is equals to 1. Now we had learned that if we are written in this form that cos of a whole square plus sin of a whole square this can be written as sin square a plus cos square a equals to 1. Writing in this format we had learned before only. So finally this is a first trigonometric identity which says that sin square a plus cos square a is equal to 1 and since Pythagoras theorem is true for each and every value of a so this equation is also true for each and every every value of a. So we had proved a first equation let's say this to be first. Now let's move on to our next equation that was 1 plus tan square theta equals to sec square theta. Now in this case I had divided the whole equation by AC square. Now if I divide this equation by AB square we will proceed for a second identity. So let us divide this whole equation by AB square. So we will get AB upon AB whole square plus then we will get BC upon AB whole square and it is equals to AC upon AB whole square. Now look at this term BC upon AB and AC upon AB and you have to think about Soka Toa and tell me that which term is BC upon AB and which term is AC upon AB. If you look upon BC upon AB it is perpendicular or opposite upon adjacent and if you look at Soka Toa it is nothing but tan of angle A. So in place of BC upon AB we can write down tan A. So let's do it. This is 1 square will be 1, 1 plus tan A whole square is equal to, now look at this term, this is AC upon AB. AC means hypotenuse and AB is adjacent. So it is hypotenuse upon adjacent and if you look upon Sokatoa again, Ka says that cos is adjacent upon hypotenuse but we have hypotenuse upon adjacent. So it will be 1 upon cos and 1 upon cos is sec. So we can write down this will be equals to sec a whole square. Again we can write this in tan square a and this we can write sec square a. So let us write down this will be 1 plus tan square a is equals to sec square a. So this is a second identity which we use in trigonometry 
Now let's proceed to our third one, which is 1 plus cot square A or 1 plus cot square theta equals to cos x square theta. So to proceed for that, we have to divide this whole equation by last term is left is BC. So let's divide it by BC whole square. Now if I divide this whole equation by BC square, what will come? This will be AB upon BC whole square plus BC upon BC whole square. It is equals to AC upon BC whole square. Now this will turn out to be 1 and if you look at this term AB upon BC, can you get something? AB upon BC, it is adjacent upon opposite. So look at TOA, it is tan is opposite upon adjacent and this is written as adjacent upon opposite. So this is reciprocal of tan, so we will say that it is written as cot of angle A. So this will be cot of angle A and if I square this will become cot square A plus this will be 1 and 1 square is 1 and again look at this term AC upon BC. AC is our hypotenuse and BC is our opposite. So it is written as hypotenuse upon opposite and if you look upon so it says that sine is opposite of one hypotenuse. So what it's written, it's just opposite of sine and opposite of sine is cosec. So it is written as cosec A and if we square, we can write it as cosec square A. So this is a final third identity. Now these three identities are used extensively in trigonometry and ongoing with the chapter will use these identities extensively.